traditionally in the past, uh, non-target effects of pesticides have only looked at acute effects. Sublethal effects can take many forms. They can be simply a reduction in longevity. It can be a reduction in fecundity of the females. Uh, there can be a reduction in prey consumption. So any of these more, more subtle, nuanced effects um, come under the general category of a sublethal effect. And in fact, you have to combine uh, the two effects. You have to combine the acute mortality with the sublethal effect and try to integrate them in some way in order to get the, sort of the sum total of what it's doing to that particular organism. For these bioassays, you will need to use groups of adult and immature mites of a known age. To do this, we start by cutting discs from bean leaves using a plastic petri dish. The leaf discs are then placed in a plastic deli cup containing cotton balls and water, with the underside of the leaf disc facing up. At the beginning of the first week, adult female mites are transferred onto the leaf discs and allowed to lay eggs for 24 hours. As these eggs hatch and develop, they will become your adult female group of a known age. At the beginning of the second week, this process is repeated. These eggs will give you the group of immature mites needed for the bioassays. Towards the end of the second week, smaller leaf discs are cut from bean leaves. We will again transfer adult female mites onto the smaller leaf discs and allow them to lay eggs for 24 hours. These will be the group of mite eggs used in our experiments. By the start of week three, all mite groups have been transferred to the smaller leaf discs. The next step is to pin one leaf disc containing our mite populations onto each leaf of the mesocosm plant. The leaf disc should be pinned with the underside of the disc facing down and with one edge of the disc in contact with the upper surface of the leaf from the bioassay plant. The treated plants are then kept in a temperature controlled chamber until ready for sampling. The mesocosm plants are destructively sampled seven days after they are sprayed with the treatments. The leaves from the treated plants are cut into sections and scanned using a dissecting microscope. All active and egg stages of both predatory and prey mites are counted and recorded. Using these counts, we can calculate the instantaneous rate of increase and use this to measure the impact of our pesticide treatments on our predator populations.